There has certainly been a lot of media frenzy over market records and the Dow hitting record levels. But let's talk a little bit of reality here for a second. Where is all the money? Typically, when we're looking at big investment firms, where do they invest most of the money? You've heard me say this before. We have target date funds, like companies like Vanguard, where they put most of the money in very, very big companies, giant companies and large and medium size, very little in small companies. And you have companies like T. Rowe Price, same picture, just a little bit different as far as the percentages go, but the same picture as far as mainly focusing on big US companies that would be represented in the Dow or S&P 500. Fidelity, same type of a picture in the same type of fund. These big fund companies, as these American funds here, do this because that's what you're familiar with. It's better for keeping business and keeping you happy to focus mainly on the area of the market that you focus on most as an investor. Now, the S&P 500 can have long periods of time with little or no return, however. Let's look at 1929 to 1944. The bottom line is the S&P 500 during that period period in time. Other areas of the market fared fairly well, but S&P not so much. 1966 to 74, a similar picture. That red line is the S&P 500. Or 1975 to 82, same type of thing. A lot of areas of the market did quite well, but not so with the S&P. And then 2000 through 2011, we had the dead decade. Same deal. Now, when you think about the market, what do you think of? Well, typically, if you're like any other investor in America, you're thinking about the S&P 500 or the Dow, big US companies. Now, how long does it stay on top? Just looking at five-year periods from 1927 through 2017, we see that the S&P 500 has had some times where it's been on top. How often did they stay on top having to have the highest returns compared to the large value and small and micro cap and small? Well, 11 out of 87 five-year periods. That's why we still want to own large US companies. Sometimes they are great. But how many times did it repeat in the next five year period? Zero. So we don't want to focus too much of our effort there like the big fund companies do because you can get in some real trouble in this area.